Teacher Carlos Plain of Durham College states definitely, I spent my entire life fostering a specific hypothesis of the universe, and presently the hypothesis is being tested. I welcome that, since that is the manner by which we push ahead. That is the means by which we gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting a lot of what has been considered truth in cosmology for the recent years. Another ultra-deep picture shows that we have committed errors in cosmology. The telescope that was expected to show us the primary stars of the universe is turning into an enemy of the past perspective and may present to us an entirely different science. Not all analysts are shuddering in dread at the new realities. Numerous researchers invite the turns of events since it has for quite some time been certain that something was the matter with our old speculations. The disparities in the estimation of the expansion pace of the universe alone should have shaken scientists' consciousness a long time ago. Yet, all things being equal of interpreting the admonitions accurately, they stuck to old speculations. The vast microwave background radiation, CMB, considered the most established light in the universe was made around 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had cooled enough for electrons and protons to form stable hydrogen particles. Analysts call this progress reionization, which made the universe penetrable to light. The CMB was first found in 1964 by American physicists Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson while they were dealing with another sort of radio antenna technology. This discovery was long viewed as quite possibly the most grounded bits of proof for the Big Bang hypothesis, procuring Penzias and Wilson a Nobel Prize and an unmistakable spot in the history of astronomy. The CMB likely offers a preview of the youthful universe, with minuscule temperature variances giving significant data about the circumstances not long after the Big Bang. Researchers utilized the CMB as a solid engraving of the essential measurements of the material universe to gauge the expansion pace of the universe, among different things. The stargazer Edwin Hubble had previously determined this in the late 1920s, finding that far-off cosmic systems move away from us every which way and that their speed is corresponding to their distance. Today, these perceptions are known as the Hubble Regulation or the Hubble Steady. Hubble didn't have the high-level estimating procedures accessible many years later when the CMB was found, which prompted a recalculated extension rate altogether lower than Hubble's unique figure. Later researchers recalculated the rate once more utilizing type IA supernovae as standard candles, giving stable light that could be utilized as a dependable estimating point. The estimations within the CMB yielded an expansion pace of around 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while estimations utilizing supernovae yielded around 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. What does this distinction in deciding the expansion pace of the universe truly tell us? Did you know that this error has been known since the 1990s? From that point forward, scientists have known or thought that something may be the matter with the appraisal of the CMB the estimation strategies, or the thought of the universe's expansion. The inconsistency between the different estimated upsides of the expansion rate is known in science as the SAA pressure or Hubble pressure. The ramifications of this strain are huge, showing that significant parts of how we might interpret the universe may be defective. For quite a while, specialists were confused. Since the James Webb Space Telescope went into administration, it has given researchers astounding information that may now reveal insight on the issue of the expansion pace of the universe. Systems so old and mature that their development should hypothetically originate before the Big Bang are toppling old astronomy. Scientists no longer talk about errors or estimation contrasts. They talk about the greatest emergency in present-day stargazing. Not only might the expansion rate be off-base, but the entire thought of development or the Big Bang itself is being addressed. Networks of pictures give proof of a universe totally different from what we have long thought. The SAA pressure was the first admonition. Specialists who still have faith in old hypotheses now deal with an issue. Do we, in fact, know anything about the universe? Numerous researchers stand on the remains of their labor of love, investigating space with horror, done grasping what they find. Considering the emergency in science, we should ask ourselves what we genuinely know about the universe. To answer this, we need to comprehend how science functions. Hypothetical researchers utilize an intricate web of numerical models, exact information, and logical thinking to draw ends from the general to the explicit. Their insight comes from a blend of notice peculiarities, trial results, and hypothetical examinations. 
The term hypothesis alone shows that these are builds and thoughts, not outright insights. The only viable information we have are the pictures telescopes give, the sound waves and radiation caught with radio telescopes, and the most recent information from neutrino estimating frameworks or gravitational wave detectors. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we presently have an instrument that can separate the most established light into individual frequencies and dissect it in phenomenal ways. Webb can show us the prevalent components in worlds north of 13 billion years ago, how much mass they contained, and how many stars there were. It can likewise reproduce the shape and course of a world's development. Anyway, Webb can likewise have shortcomings. For example, it can't continuously decide with assurance whether we are seeing worlds or dark openings with immense accumulation circles that sparkle as brightly as a universe. We should confront the truth that our science has long acknowledged an excessive number of possibilities as insights and dismissed elective clarifications. Research has, for quite some time, been sure of its accuracy. The most recent discoveries from the James Webb Telescope are vital hints to supplant speculations with new insights, as has happened commonly in science. Researchers are presently holding up. The new revelations are excessively surprising, and numerous analysts battle to come up with new clarifications. The new discoveries shake the foundations of our physical science, terrifying numerous specialists. The present lessons of physical science are still generally founded on Isaac Newton's examination from the 17th century. His laws of movement and gravity were the underpinning of our actual comprehension of this present reality and the universe for hundreds of years. Newton's regulations make sense of the developments of items under regular conditions and function admirably on Earth. Anyway, in space, his thoughts required augmentation, generally finished by Albert Einstein toward the start of the 20th century. Einstein's exceptional hypothesis of relativity, published in 1905, upset how we might interpret reality, demonstrating that they are comparative with one another and rely upon the eyewitness's development. His general hypothesis of relativity, published in 1915, broadened this idea with numerical confirmations of gravitational peculiarities in view of the bend of spacetime by masses like stars or universes. Einstein's regulations and thoughts were cognizant in numerous areas. However, he additionally knew their cutoff points. He knew his speculations could never completely depict the universe and longed for seeing a world equation, which he didn't accomplish. No other specialist has prevailed to this day. Where is the misstep? Wouldn't it be fascinating to know where it lies? Michio Kaku, a well-known astrophysicist from the USA, said in a meeting that tackling this issue would unquestionably win a Nobel Prize. How about we investigate the realities researchers could have neglected, possible misinterpretations or whether our telescopes are at fault? Dark matter and dark energy are at the first spot on the list of suspects for the genuine reasons for the cosmological emergency. Our ongoing models of the universe incorporate ideas that dark matter and dark energy make up around 95% of the universe. Anyway, neither has been straightforwardly noticed, and their genuine presence has never been demonstrated. They probably won't exist by any stretch of the imagination, requiring various clarifications for the universe's development and the dynamics of systems. Or they could have properties we don't yet know. One thought is that the actual properties of dark matter and dark energy have changed over time, potentially showing some sort of intelligence. Gravity is another idea to evidently be tried. This power, prompting fascination through mass or bend in spacetime, has not yet been demonstrated. The thoughts of spacetime arch generally start from Einstein and have been validated ordinarily. Anyway, we can't preclude the likelihood that gravity has unexpected properties in comparison to we thought or that another impact causes the gravitational draw between objects. Throughout the long term, a few qualities have been laid out in cosmology and astronomy as infinite constants. The investigation of the universe has forever been an excursion set apart by our persevering journey for understanding and discovery. From antiquated human advancements noticing the stars to current space telescopes testing the profundities of the universe. Every progression in innovation and hypothesis has disclosed new secrets while testing laid-out convictions in the domain of cosmology. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as a guide of our logical advancement, promising to change how we might interpret the universe's starting points and development. Sent off with uncommon capacities, 
JWST addresses a jump forward in observational space science, prepared to look further into reality than ever before. One of the essential targets of JWST is to study the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation with unmatched accuracy. The CMB, often alluded to as the glimmer of the Big Bang, gives a preview of the universe as it existed just 380,000 years after its introduction to the world. This artifact radiation conveys significant data about the universe's underlying conditions, including its temperature variances, which are vital for grasping the development of worlds and large-scale structure. The error in the deliberate upsides of the Hubble constant, known as the Hubble pressure, has been a constant challenge, proposing a lower expansion pace of the universe. Perceptions utilizing type IA supernovae and other cosmological tests yield a higher value. This strain suggests that our ongoing models might be deficient or that there are essential parts of the universe's expansion elements that we still can't seem to get a handle on. Past the Hubble pressure, JWST has the potential to reveal insight into other cosmological riddles, like the nature of dark matter and dark energy. These tricky parts are theorized to comprise most of the universe's mass energy content, yet their presence remains induced in a roundabout way through gravitational impacts rather than straightforwardly noticed. JWST's capacity to concentrate on the dispersion of issue and energy across astronomical history could give essential experiences into the properties and development of dark matter and dark energy. Additionally, JWST perceptions of far-off cosmic systems and heavenly populaces offer a brief look into grandiose stories that were already distant. By investigating the light from antiquated worlds, stargazers can follow the development and advancement of stars and cosmic systems over billions of years. These perceptions not only illuminate our comprehension of cosmic system arrangement, but likewise provide requirements on the processes that drove the early universe's advancement. The telescope's high-level instrumentation, including its setup of infrared locators and spectrographs, empowers researchers to examine the substance organization of far-off systems with extraordinary detail. By estimating the overflows of components like hydrogen, helium, and heavier metals in antiquated star-forming locales, JWST can unwind the historical backdrop of substance enhancement in the universe. These bits of knowledge are urgent for refining models of heavenly advancement and understanding how universes have evolved their properties throughout grandiose time. One of the most captivating parts of JWST's mission is its capability to recognize and describe exoplanets, planets circling stars beyond our nearby planet group. By noticing the weak infrared light produced by these far-off worlds, JWST can investigate their airs and quest for indications of tenability or even indications of life. This capacity marks a critical headway in our mission to distinguish possibly tenable planets and comprehend the variety of planetary frameworks throughout the universe. In expansion to its logical goals, JWST addresses a demonstration of worldwide coordinated effort and mechanical development. The telescope's advancement included commitments from various space organizations, including NASA, the European Space Organization, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, highlighting the worldwide work to push the limits of space investigation. From its multifaceted sun shield intended to safeguard delicate instruments from sunlight-based radiation to its cutting-edge optics, upgraded for infrared perceptions, JWST epitomizes many years of examination and designing mastery. The way to sending off JWST has not been without challenges. Initially imagined in the repercussions of the Hubble Space Telescope's achievement, JWST confronted specialized obstacles, monetary requirements, and postpones that tried the purpose of researchers and specialists engaged in its improvement. Anyway, determination and resourcefulness prevailed, culminating in the fruitful send-off of JWST atop an Ariane 5 rocket in December 2021. At this point functional in its assigned circle around the second Lagrange point, L2. Around 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, JWST is ready to leave on an extraordinary excursion of investigation. In contrast to its ancestor Hubble, which works basically in imperceptible and bright frequencies, JWST's infrared abilities permit it to infiltrate vast residue mists and notice objects clouded from optical telescopes. This exceptional vantage point offers an all-encompassing perspective on the universe across an expansive range of frequencies, from close infrared to mid-infrared districts. 
The academic local area enthusiastically anticipates JWST's first light perceptions, which promise to disclose an abundance of new discoveries and bits of knowledge into major inquiries about the universe, from examining the states of the early universe to concentrating on the environments of exoplanets. JWST perceptions will shape how we might interpret astronomy, cosmology, and planetary science for years to come. In the domain of astronomy, JWST's capacity to catch high-resolution pictures and spectra of divine articles will empower space experts to concentrate on peculiarities running from star arrangement in adjacent systems to the advancement of monstrous black holes at the focuses of far-off universes. By settling fine subtleties in galactic objects with extraordinary clarity, JWST will provide vital information to test and refine hypothetical models of astrophysical cycles. Moreover, JWST perceptions will add to our comprehension of the life cycle of stars, from their arrangement in thick atomic mists to their possible downfall as supernovae or heavenly remainders. By noticing heavenly nurseries and star-forming districts across various systems, JWST will enlighten the processes that oversee star development and the impact of environment on heavenly development. The investigation of universes and their advancement addresses another foundation of JWST's logical mission. By noticing the underlying properties, elements, and compound structures of systems across grandiose time, JWST will follow the development of cosmic structures and their advancement into the various clusters of universes seen in the universe today. These perceptions will provide bits of knowledge into the instruments answerable for molding cosmic systems, like consolidations, interactions, and feedback processes from star development and very monstrous black holes. JWST capacities reach out past customary astrophysical examinations to envelop major inquiries regarding the idea of space-time and the universe's beginnings. By noticing gravitational lensing impacts and examining the conveyance of dark matter across astronomical scales, JWST will add to how we might interpret the huge scope construction of the universe and the hidden material science that governs its arrangement and advancement. The telescope's perceptions will likewise support interdisciplinary examination drives. For example, the quest for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, and the investigation of planetary frameworks arrangement and tenability. By investigating the compound syntheses of exoplanet environments and looking for biomarkers characteristic of life, JWST will provide pivotal information to address one of mankind's most significant inquiries. Are we alone in the universe? In addition, JWST's job in motivating people in the future of researchers, specialists, and space voyagers couldn't possibly be more significant. The telescope's notable disclosures and innovative accomplishments will capture the imagination of individuals around the world and spur them to seek after professions in STEM fields. By cultivating interest, inventiveness, and an enthusiasm for discovery, JWST will leave an enduring legacy of logical accomplishment and investigation for a long time into the future. As JWST leaves on its main goal to unwind the mysteries of the universe, it stands as a demonstration of humanity's persevering soul of investigation and revelation. From its cutting-edge instrumentation to its aggressive logical goals, JWST addresses a victory of worldwide cooperation, mechanical development, and logical inventiveness. With each perception and revelation, JWST will extend our grandiose skylines, develop our comprehension of the universe, and motivate people in the future to proceed pushing the limits of knowledge. Taking everything into account, the James Webb Space Telescope holds the commitment of changing our comprehension of the universe and uncovering new experiences into its beginnings, development, and principal properties. By pushing the limits of observational space science and progressing our innovative capacities, JWST addresses a reference point of logical progress and a demonstration of mankind's interest, constancy, and mission for information. As we anticipate the disclosures that lie ahead, JWST stands ready to open the secrets of the universe and move generations to investigate the wonders of the universe beyond our most stunning imagination.